Shropshire Damson. Um, is a damson which uh, we planted two years ago, two trees. And last year we had some fruit, this year we had more. This is part of it. We have eaten most of it now. And uh, they are not very big. But uh, it does worth the wait because that comes almost as a kind of late plum, latest plum you can have in your garden or anywhere. So let us have a taste. Oh, very sweet. Very sweet. And the flesh is almost yellowish. And that's a heavy rain, yes. Yeah. As you see the stone, it almost melts in the mouth. Mmm. Definitely, this is an Eastern plum. The taste of it is so rich. Very sweet, very faint, pleasant bitterness, very faint at the end of it, which gives it almost a nice taste. Very faint. It's completely right. The compress it is soft. Probably I should have always it one week before. Mmm. It melts in the mouth. Definitely this damson, Shropshire damson. They say damson comes from, from the name of the Syrian capital, Damascus. which is a beautiful place, I must say. Best fruits grows there. Traditionally, Mediterranean regions are the best, and those areas are the best for growing fruits. Oh, it was so sweet, I ate the whole stone also. <laughs> the previous one, they had in stone because I ate it. A mistake. Yeah, they must have been brought to Europe, mainly France since um, the crusades. When the Europeans crusaders learned a lot from the Muslims in the East. At the surface it looks like a war, but deeper it was cultural exchange. Oh, that was really good. That was awesome. One of the best plums I've ever eaten. Lovely. Sweet, slightly acidic, and then faintly bitter, pleasant bitter. Very nice. Surprisingly lovely late plum. When all other plums are finished, Shropshire Damson shines. And they make a jam of it, they make a wine of it. Um, so it's versatile. You can make leather probably out of that. Or sauce, paste, anything you like. 